Hi, hello everyone. This is my passion Malti and we are on to the part 4 of Jalian Wala Bag Massacre topic. Part 4 of the Freedom Struggle SSLC class 10 lesson number 7. I'll put a quick recap of what we did in the last 3 parts because it's a huge lesson we need to keep on revising. Uh, Lord Lytton brought in Domestic Papers Control Act in 1878. Lord Ripon brought in Ilbert Bill. Domestic, Paper, uh, Domestic Papers Control Act was to exercise control on Indian publications. Uh, Ilbert Bill was to bring in uniformity in the judicial system. And INC was formed in 1885 by A.O. Hume, its main object was to create political awareness and nationalist attitude. But the British, with their cunning policies, established divide and rule policy. By the end of 19th century, two types of Indian freedom struggle leaders were divided. They are identified as moderates and extremists. Moderates were people who believed British administration and their impartiality and followed a polite non-violent manner moderates 1885 to 1906 extremists 1906 to 1920 the final phase gandhi nehra is 1920 to 1947 here the main persons are mg ranade surendranath banerji dada bhai navroji gopal krishna gokhale prominent moderates prominent extremists aurobindo ghosh lal bal pal you can explain as you know i said before in the last classes Dada by Navroji explained about the drain theory, partition of Bengal 1905 opposed by the extremists, 1911 declaration of withdrawal of partition of Bengal, Swaraj is my birthright and I will get it at any cost by Lokamanya Tilak. The main prominent leaders of revolutionaries were V.D. Savarkar, Sham Krishna Verma, Aurobindo Ghosh, Ras Bihari Ghosh, Madam Kama. Kudi Rambos, Ram Prasad Bismil, Bhagat Singh and Chandrasekhar Asad. So Gaiden Leo was a young lady of the Naga tribe who fought against the British along with Jadonang of the same tribe. Gandhiji fought against the British uh, with the inspiration got from the freedom movements of South Africa and the people there uh, inspired Gandhiji much. And his uh, weapons were what? Use of indirect protest, non-violence, Satyagraha. He wrote about his principles in the newspaper Young India. Satyagraha was his main political weapon. And in Guiding Leo, the Dr. Hala Haralu, who was a trait of, uh, traitor of Guiding Leo's movement, was awarded with Kaisari Hind by the British, which is known as Emperor of India. Let us come on to the fresh topic that is Jallianwala Bagh Massacre. What is this Jallianwala Bagh Massacre? Jallianwala Bagh is a place. It's a park. Okay. Please write down the meaning. Jallianwala Bagh is a park. Then what is this massacre? Massacre is nothing but slaughter of many people. Killing. Brutally. Brutal killing of people. Brutal killing of many people is called massacre. So this uh, incident is known as Jallianwala Bagh Massacre. What is the bra backdrop of this Jallianwala Bagh Massacre is? As we read in the last class, due to the Rawlath Act 1919, many protests were started along with Gandhiji's protest. In the backdrop of those protests against Rawlath Act, they were violent. These protests were violent and... Uh, the control of Amritsar city. As we know, Amritsar uh, city uh, is nearer to Delhi. And this uh, control was given to Governor General Dyer. This Dyer, this fellow, what he did, he imposed military rule. Like we have now section 144. As we have seen lockdown and all, we are familiar with that section 144. In that period, no constitution was there before independence so dire what he did that fellow uh, that guy uh, governor general dire he imposed military rule in the city which city amritsar and banned all demonstrations demonstrations are nothing but debates meetings political meetings indian freedom moments etc 
against the british rule but the protesters who were protesting that that is the indian freedom fighters were not knowing about this ban and they decided to assemble in jallianwala bag okay jallianwala bag bag is nothing but a park isn't it jallianwala is a place jallianwala park uh, in that park slaughter of many people happened this is called jallianwala bag massacre a uh, sentence can be added no problem here if they asked what is jallianwala bag massacre explain briefly a uh, one sentence can be added here so that it will be useful for the examiners to know more about you as they can't know your name they will know your capacity okay 2000 about 2000 more people more than 2000 people to sorry 20000 protesters had assembled in this meeting or a demonstration against the rawal attack so jallianwala bag massacre is simply a protest violent protest against the rawal attack imposed by the british as the protesters didn't know about the ban and uh, section that is uh, military rule against the british rule in the amritsar city the crowded in the jallianwala bag more than 20000 protesters assembled what happened this high walled there was no chance to go out at all except a small door so what he did die uh, that uh, guy governor general dyer he came up with his force lot and lot of armed force and he shut uh, shut the small door and he put on each and every people and arrived what he did he arrived at this place without any previous warning with his army as i said before with his armed force he attacked the protesters and thousands suffered severe injuries and from all the sides there were firearms bombs etc in this massacre uh, it is reported uh, in the history that about 379 people died and thousands suffered serious injuries this incident is known as jallianwala bag tragedy also it can be called jallianwala bag massacre or jallianwala bag tragedy so what is the recap of jallianwala bag massacre 20000 people gathered in jallianwala bag without knowing the ban of governor general dyer military rule in the amritsar city due to the backdrop of rawal attack in 1919 so the high wall jallianwala bag which has narrow entrances this is actually not 100% true there was only small door i think only one door for in and out uh, so this narrow entrance was uh, very favorable to general dyer but was unfavorable and brutal killing happened in jallianwala bag and 379 people died in this massacre and uh, thousands of them suffered serious injuries this is also known as jallianwala bag tragedy but this uh, british government appointed hunter commission but it was of no use and it is it was of no consequence the atrocities against indians started uh, started before and it continued after this massacre also so the next one is khilafat movement what is this khilafat movement khilafat the khilafat word came from because of muslim caliphs who were this muslim caliphs let us learn so like gandhi ji's freedom struggle we have read some some part of it next we we'll, we are going to learn about non cooperation movement civil disobedience movement the large topics of this lesson so before that what uh, were the plans of british like uh, rawal attack against uh, protest of gandhi ji uh, they start, had plans to demolish the ottoman empire as we read in our advent of european chapters uh ottoman turks in 1453 they captured this uh, uh, before the independence 1947 uh the world first world war was also going on in the same period that is 1924 to 1928 if i'm right sorry 1904 to 1908 yes right i think in this time first war uh, world war the ottoman empire uh was to be suppressed by the british plans 
the Turkish emperors. Uh, generally, Ottomans were Turkish, right? They were Turks. The Turkish emperors were whom? They were Muslim caliphs. They are a part of Muslims. Like we have so many religions in uh, uh, in the same way. Muslims had so many parts. One of them were Muslim caliph. Even uh, these Muslim caliphs also had hatred towards the British because of their uh, part. That is Ottoman Empire got uh, demolished by the British. So Ali brothers started the Khilafat movement. Who are these Ali brothers? They were the one who started the Khilafat movement. So they may ask who are the Ali brothers? It's not given in the textbook. Please note down if you won't need. It's very important. Shaukat Ali and Muhammad Ali. They are the two Ali brothers. So these uh, Ali brothers started the Khilafat movement. For what reason? To support the Turks, Turkish emperors, who were the Muslim caliphs. So in at this time, what was Gandhiji's belief? He believed that Hindus and Muslims, if, uh, if they are together and if they are one, it will be the time that India will get freedom and Khilafat movement will be a success. So he supported the Khilafat movement and uh, Khilafat movement is also known as Joint Hindu-Muslim Nationwide Movement. It turned out to be a joint Hindu-Muslim nationwide movement against the British. Even many national leaders of Congress also took part in this movement. This is a short movement. It may be for two or three marks. If you are luck, if it is your fortune, you may get it for three marks or two marks in brief. So, let us see about non-cooperation movement in the next class. Until then, it's bye-bye from my Persian Malti. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos. <laughs>